Hello everyone, my name is Ray Lazor and welcome back to Wuppo. In the last one, we managed to get our chip card and uh, say our farewells to the Wum host. Today, instead of going to Popo City, we're actually going to head over to uh, uh, Wonder's Flank up here first before we go to Popo City. So let's just crawl our four tiny legs across and grab that film strip if we can. There we go. Probably got a little bit of extra health there too. Yeah, look at all those film strips I have. What's this from? Train station? What is this under? Uh, hmm. Wonder Splank. Well, alright then. Let's go ahead and save and uh, head over to Wonder Splank then. Where we need to find two more of these film strips. Alrighty, and that timer is like going off crazy. Alright, next train. I won't have to worry about that. I'm going someplace else. Ah, oh, look at them all. Splank hackers. My favorite. They look like cereal bits, you know? They remind me of stuff like... Like, uh... Grains. Grain cereals that look all lumpy and stuff. That are usually binded together with, like, honey and sugar. I'm just saying they're number one. And I'm just saying I have the developers, uh... On my side, considering they use the Splank Hacker as their logo. So I'm just saying, man. They're the best. Unquestioned. Alright, well. Let's go on across here. We got Mega Crank, Joy Spank, and Jolly Boing. So that'll be interesting, won't it? We can, we can hit the balloons. Really? Is it already raining when we're trying to go here? Oh, we have like a little film thingy here too. Let's watch that. Oh! Oh, I can watch anything I want here! Ah, oh, okay, okay, where's that flying thing? Yes, alright. Yeah, this is new to me. Ah, oh, yes. Is someone going to narrate it? Yes, let's watch this. Beautiful. A work of art. Truly. Who's narrating? No, no one? Is, is that it? Are we okay here? Do I have to narrate? Oh, oh dear. Okay, hold on, what if I... Oh, I switched the slides myself, okay. Um, the Blam and Blam wanted to draw, but Blam couldn't draw. Oh, uh, there's the sleeping vertical rock. Oh man, there's a regular rock. Yeah, a really important thing that the Alice Weeder didn't tell us about. Because he decided to ditch out on the blinds, come on man. Ah, uh, there's rock in me. Oh yeah, rock dead. Sorry, memes on drawing. <laughs> Sorry, memes on drawings. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, we killed the rock. And this is this is me. Yeah, there's Blam. Good job, Blam. You're really good at like that inversion thing. Like, jeez. You'd you'd think they wouldn't know how to do this right here. <laughs> but why, Ali Messi? Okay. That you. See you, I go eat now. Oh man, look at him. He's happy. He's gonna go eat now. Uh, I love, uh, how me... What? <laughs> fly, fly how? Oh, he wants to fly. No! That's adorable. Okay, he eats the butterfly. <laughs> well, that's a very common place, isn't it? Bye! Oh, are we done? Do I get happiness for that? Because I'm feeling pretty swell right now. Alright, well, whatever. Let's go through and, uh... What? It's still not watched? Come on, I just finished it. Alright, whatever. Let's do Carlos's diary. Will we be able to see the words? Oh, we sure won't. There's something, I think that's like the fat us right now, and he's talking about how we just love eating so much ice cream. And I think this is in like maybe English, but it's like, oh god. Page 100. Am I able to like turn down the video settings? Like maybe like that? Will that make it so I can read this? Hmm. No, okay. Well, what if I... Well, I've turned the smoothness up to max. Yeah. Oh, God. Even worse. All right. You know what? Let's just put it back on its default, which is one. Okay. There's there's him getting mad, I think. Oh, yeah. There's ice cream spilled everywhere. Why? Why would you spill ice cream everywhere over and over? Oh, but it's okay because we're going to, like, get him a new ice cream cone so he'll never fucking eat it ever again. Or something. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah, alright, let's do Diary too. Hi, right, welcome to Ray Laser Does Film Strips. Oh, 
Balloons, balloons, please. Balloons, please. I've tried to get it. Okay, we're good. All right, yeah, diary part two. Um, He's enjoying a bath right now. It's really toasty. They're going to make a soup out of him. Oh, it feels so good that he started peeing in the bathtub. He's not quite sure why, though, but he totally did, and it's 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 great. And, and suddenly, it feels like the entire area smells like pee. So, it's like radiating from him, and then his friend, like, L Hat over there is like, Whoa, hey, buddy, maybe you shouldn't be stewing yourself in pee and water. And he's like, yeah, whatever, man. The, the stuff's great, which is why he's having, like, an orgasm right now. Great. <laughs> I think I should have heated, uh, the Alice Weeder's words. <laughs> Alright, yeah, part three, here we go. Whoa, 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 hey, I don't want to go on the other map. Alright, cool, so there's, like, a fish, and... Oh, oh, today, yeah, today we managed to get the... The fat one, who's now a skinny one, to like clean it, or or maybe I just really wanted this new model of like cleaning software, this Breath 2000 or whatever. It, it was probably made by a glasses guy, but I don't really like glasses guys, so whatever. We're doing a bribe thing here right now, really. Oh, uh, where's Willy? Willy sort of disappeared, and now he's like a different colored one, but no one's noticed except me. Also, De Carolyn's doing pretty bad right now, so I hope he does something about it. Oh, and then I kicked this one off on the streets because I didn't want him eating ice cream anymore. So now he looks like he's from the dumps. It's pretty great. I don't like him. Alright, there we go. We did it. Do we have anything else to watch? Sure. Mega Crank? No, I'm not. We'll save that for uh, Alice Reader stuff. Alrighty. Welcome to Wonder Splank. You gotta get the Splank currency, dude. So we're gonna, we're gonna cash in our savings of 300 here and get mad Splank. One coin is three smirt. I would... The, the problem is that you can't really buy more than three coins. Or... So, yeah. N nine smirt. And then you just... You gotta trade with them. And you have to wait your turn, too. There you go. There's there's my coins. Uh, and an easier way is to just click this. And then just hand it to them. That way you don't have to go through the stupid dialogue box over and over. So, I think we're going to, like, pour maybe, like... A hundred coins into this. And I'm just... Saying error mine right now because I'm trying to make sure you have enough splank hacker coins. Yep, I'm working on it. And uh, this is honestly just for funsies, so I'm not too worried about the money things since a lot of the collectibles I don't know anything about them. So for what I do know, let's just have fun and enjoy this place. So we're gonna we're gonna empty our wallet so we're 100 smirt lighter. So that's what we're going to do today. You notice everyone has like fancy hats and stuff too, and like what looks like a, a bunch of jawbreakers, which. I assume Splank Hackers can just, just crunch right through them, which is great. We're gonna work with it. And then, uh, I'm going to show you, like, the best part of this game, hands down. At least from what I've played, which is the preview. I will show you the ultimate. <laughs> um, yeah, we're almost there. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll go for a little bit more. Just one more. Because, make that to, like, 200 for Rio Z's. There we go. Hello, would you like to buy a Wonder Hat for three Splank Hacker coins? I sure would. Yeah! You first. You you got it, friend. We got a Splank Hacker Hat. Let's put it on and join the crowd. Wonder Splank Hat. Every Wonder Splank visitor is convinced that this hat shows your capability to enjoy life. Look, I got a plus happiness. Yay! Would you like to buy a Wonder Hat? No, I just got one. No! See ya. See ya! One Splunk Hacker coin for a rainbow bulb. Alright, so that's what one of those things are. Alright. You first. I'll throw one over here. Alright, let's see what these things are. They're, I assume they're consumables, yeah. Rainbow bulb. You have to get used to the taste, but after that, it's fun in the darkness for at least 50 seconds. Alright, well, we're gonna hang on to that, because it's not exactly the most darkest right now. I want to get onto this, like, ride thing, so let's line up for it. Oh, and I do mean line up. You're not allowed to- you're not allowed to ditch the line, like, you can't do this, they- they kick you out. You're not able to, like, hop your way through, and then, like, if you're a jerkbag, they'll, like, throw you out, so. This is the waiting episode, my friends. We might even spend two videos on just Wonder Splank. This is, uh, this is a wonderful time. It- it really is. Should I talk more about my current opinions on Wapo? I guess- I might not ne I might not need to do a review video if I just use dead time like this to talk. Oh, and sometimes they budge, which is like a jerk move. 
Oh no, he, he's just moving the wrong way. There we go. A few of them sometimes budge, and I don't appreciate them. Um, otherwise, let's let's talk about something a little controversial now. I really enjoy Wuppel, but there's one... Seriously, dude? Like, take it easy. Come on. Um, there's one issue with it that I have. And this might just be because I'm a very, like, old-school gamer. Without being a jerk about it, but... Back in my day, when I played video games, at least within, like, the era I lived in... People didn't release day one DLC, or DLC in general. You would patch the game to fix the game up, and make sure it ran as the product should. And if you wanted to add more content to the game, you would release an expansion pack. You would create a whole new game for it. And sometimes those games would have like save integrations, so they would be able to fit in together nicely and whatnot. What I'm trying to say is that while I really enjoy Wuppo and I understand that the developers really need like, you know, money, they've spent like 7 plus years on this game and frankly I don't think they're going to be able to make as much money on the game as I would like them to. Uh, it comes down to the fact that they need to release DLC and whatnot. But day one DLC is essentially completing a game, slicing like a little bit of the brain out, and then selling it back to you. And that's what it feels like right now. So the new DLC has like 10 hats, and like a few weapons here and there. And I personally feel kind of gypped right now, because around this point in the game we have like 33% of the game done or something. And we only have two weapons, so the fact that you would just immediately sell two is... Yeah, it feels like a jerk move. I don't know how it really comes down to. Maybe when we go to Popo City, there's plenty of weapons and whatnot. But generally, I don't really approve of Day 1 DLC or DLC to begin with. With the game series, I think that if you make a game and you're done with it, then great. Just release it, take care of it, promote it, etc, etc. Modding is the best way to keep your game alive. But if you want to make a new one and whatnot, you should work on a new engine. Show off like the new differences, the new technology in between the games. Um, an example of this is that, well I know that they have different like publishers and maybe developers, it would be the Fear series, you know, Fear 1 and 2 had a dramatic change and people agreed that it was very different, but, you know, I found it interesting, like you would be able to see the big differences, how like, gunplay in Fear 2 was a lot better, and the aesthetic was different and whatnot too. Um, a bad example would be something like, uh, Stalker, Shadow of Chernobyl, and then like the rest of the games because it feels like they all run the same engine and everything feels like it's still the same buggy self, you know? There's not that much innovation in between them, but I can understand it if you would treat those games like expansion packs. I grew up on a game called uh, Fate, which is essentially the precursor to Torchlight. Or, uh, was it called Torchlight? Yeah, Torchlight, the RPG by uh, Runic Games or something. And with that, if you wanted to release an expansion pack, you would make a new game. Like, put it in a new area, like a tundra area for a town, instead of like your regular fantasy town. Add new equipment slots, add different types of equipment, and you get a better game. People will find value in it. Sure, it runs in the same engine, but if it's within a short release period, and you show that you just wanted to create an expansion pack, something like that really helps. I understand the modern convenience of DLC nowadays, where you can easily just add more into the game without creating an engine and stuff, and th th that's a reason why DLC is good nowadays. A reason DLC is not good is when, you know, a bit of the content gets cut out. I don't think it will affect Wuppo very much. I think it should be fine. But it's a pet peeve, and while I like to support the devs, and I don't think this will be like the most popular Let's Play or anything like that, considering I have uh, very big competitors and this is a very small game. I, I would want to put it out that I don't approve of the DLC methods, but I do approve of the game. So I guess that m that's my little rant here. And we've spent a lot of time waiting in line to get on the Mega Crank. So I hope this is worth it. Ah, who am I kidding? This is this is real life on amusement parks and whatnot. We'll ride this thing and then we'll. Uh, call it a day, I'll run off to a save bucket, and when we return, we'll continue our adventures in uh, Wonders Plank. I, I love this little part here, where they slow down the vehicle just so it's enough to cause you, like, misery. Just enough, you know? You know this is necessary, but just this, right here, just, just to, like, make it a little bit harder on yourself. Do I sit here? Are you going for the other one? Yeah, you are. Okay. Oh, we got crushed in. Here we go! We're going on the Mega Crank. Alright, let's just move my mouse off the way. Maybe I want to take like a screenshot of this for the thumbnail. Considering the rest of it has been just waiting in line. 
Nauseous. Oh, all right. Great job, Blusser. People are talking about where all the other Blussers went. They went to Wonder's Flank. Look at them all. <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay, yeah. We're building up now. Things are about to get exciting. We're at the Mega Crank finale part, dudes. Are you ready? <laughs> Any second now. I love the music's building it up, too, and they take away all your controls. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, man. Oh, here we go. Ah, wow, what an amazing ride. Oh, my God, so fast. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. Ah. <laughs> Whoa, okay, yeah, that looks like a safety danger. Safety tree. Oh, oh, okay, there we go. We're good. I didn't die. I hope my hat's not crushed, though, but... Man, that was worth the wait, wasn't it, guys? Guys? Hey, guys. Oh, uh, there's, a, there's a very lovely charm in this game. And everything they do. The timing, the talk, everything. Yeah, we got plus two health for that. Or plus two happiness. Alrighty, thank you for watching this episode of WAPO. If you enjoyed, uh, consider playing the demo and trying out the game and buying the game and all that snip snap. Maybe wait on the DLC, I don't know. In the next one, we'll continue going through Wondersplank and seeing what other festive rides there are. Take care.